Uh, what's not cool is the weather. It's pretty warm out there. Well, yeah, for this time of the year, definitely yeah. uh, very mild, uh, shall we say. But uh, a little chilly this morning, just below the freezing mark. Still jacket weather, but not quite, uh, you know, that warm. But uh, we're doing pretty well as temperatures go. And uh, we have uh, some uh, very... Uh, cheerful looking Christmas colors outside and that's the view from the Plumber Building downtown Rochester as we get closer to the Christmas holiday we remind ourselves of where we are on the calendar because the weather is not typical of what we normally see this time of the year you look at these numbers you would not think it was late December because 28 degrees at this hour in the morning in Rochester is warmer than the seasonal average for high temperatures uh, it's 32 right now in Austin Mason City 32 and 30 degrees in Winona a light southeast breeze it does feel like 19 right now with a thin layer of cloud overhead. We've had some starlight at times. We'll have maybe a few breaks of sun at times today. Not a completely opaque uh, gray layer of clouds, but certainly more clouds than sun uh, through the course of today. And that's something uh, different uh, versus what we've had the past few days. But despite all that, Things are going to be warmer. More of those clouds are coming in from the southwest. Is all that happening? Still, a warm trend carries us into the holiday weekend, though it will certainly become progressively more unsettled. Uh, 28 right now in Rochester. It's 32 in St. Cloud, 34 in Omaha. Look at that, 39 now in Des Moines. Incredibly warm for this time of the morning. 29 for the morning commute. Clouds, uh, a, a slight chilly southeast breeze, but temperatures actually running certainly well above the seasonal average. A mild day today. The solstice happens at 9:37. This evening. So if you're wondering, well, today's the, the big day. Tomorrow, a couple of seconds more of daylight, and it, it really won't be noticeable for a week or two. Uh, but even in time, of course, we will begin to notice those subtle changes with the extra daylight in January. Uh, for Friday, a little bit of uh, hit or miss rain showers, another mild day. In fact, about five or six degrees warmer than today. And the weekend itself, record warmth possible. Rain, though, also possible Sunday and Monday. Today, hot temperatures top the out around 40. Wind chill indices in the low and mid 30s, so not a terribly strong southeast breeze. Future track today, a lot of clouds around, a few peaks at the sun, a dry day. Temperatures on the way to low 40s. We see these little spotty showers. Those happen in the evening and overnight tonight. That's some spotty drizzle with some areas of uh, fog and low cloud cover. Tomorrow, a gray day with isolated showers. Certainly much a murkier looking day tomorrow, but still a mild day. Mid 40s, maybe even upper 40s in spots. And then heading into Saturday, a dry day with a couple of peaks at the sun. A lot of clouds around those still with that south breeze pulling in the warmth and temperatures flirting with the 50s. And of course, with that happening, you can definitely expect a non-white Christmas. We have 0% chance of that. We kind of knew that all along, but now we can definitely confirm that there is no snow in our future. Instead, it's rain. Looking at sparse showers tomorrow, better chance of rain Sunday and Monday. Even a bit of rain holding on into Tuesday. And an inch or more of rain is possible in that rainfall outlook in the next few days. Temperatures to watch uh, the record uh, for Saturday and Sunday in the 40s. We're going to be closer to 50. So those days featuring what looks to be record high temperatures and even record morning low temperatures. And that'll be the case also for Monday morning of next week. Low temperatures right around 40. Temperature tracker uh, well above average as you can see there. Something in the 20s would be typical. Santa looks confused, but he's cheery still. The jolly old elf will put up with just about anything, I think. But 50 on Christmas Eve. And we'll still be in the 40s Christmas Eve night when he's passing through. 40 today, mostly cloudy. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. There'll be some areas of thick fog tonight, though. Keep that in mind in the overnight hours and early tomorrow. Areas of drizzle as well. 35 tonight. And the seven-day forecast, very mild nights in, ahead of us. Uh, readings of the 40s in some cases. Highs around 50. Bit of rain Sunday and Monday. And maybe even Tuesday of next week. So those numbers certainly aren't real. And uh, as you know, we're talking about the record potential potential there, but they're very mm. unusual for this time of the year. And uh, yes, yeah, as we've been saying, Rudolph will have to help out with the clouds and getting through you know, the navigation with all that going on. He has a very bright nose that will be helpful.